partisan toward the Oklahoma State. Oh, the neck rings. This is so tough. The ACC champion Kyle Reaney. Boom, boom. Things are getting exciting, Sean. Glory the fall, or Reaney the fall at 33. And NC State is two for two in the lightweights. And now we go to a fall for Air Force. Cody Fiffin, the 22 seed, pins Dylan Ragason. Oh my, shocking, shocking upset for Ragason, who's had a really fine year, he's one of the best 135 betters, but he's got the chin there. And as long as he has the chin, he, uh, he cannot, um, uh, Ragason can't get his head off the mat. And uh, great, great upset for Sam Barber. Brought five to the party from Air Force Academy, doing a fine job there. Cody Fippen, the three-time Big 12 medalist. This is his first NCAA championship. He has been a giant killer this year. He has five ranked wins. Can't keep him straight. There's Fippen, there's Philippi, there's Phipps. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot of peas. <laughs> So they are taking another look at it. You see the disbelief on the face of Ragason. The three-time NCAA qualifier from Michigan who just missed out on the podium a year ago. He reached the round of 12. And this first round is always so interesting to see. You see matches like this, big pins, big upsets. It's how do these guys respond coming out the gate, right? The, the weight cut, the pressure of competing at the national tournament. What happened last year? You know, do, do they feel that pressure of trying to raise the bar, raise the level of their competition and, and, and going out there to attack? And, you know, it's all about that mental part of it, right? How it's your mental preparation, that belief in yourself and being able to execute out there. And you can just see some guys are just really dialed in on this tournament. Crucial this first round. Go out there 100%. Pippen, a wrestler who has been a four-year starter for the Air Force, wrestled at 125 early on, bumped up weight, had the huge freshman year. He became the first Air Force wrestler to reach the Big 12 semis. He knocked off the two, four, and seven seeds in the tournament. Quint, what are they taking a look at with Pippen and Ragason? Well, I believe Air Force threw the brick during the pinning combination because the Michigan wrestler apparently was grabbing the knee brace of, of Fippen illegally. So I think the officials are going to look that over in the replay center, and I'd be surprised if this pin doesn't stand up. So that was an Air Force brick that was thrown from the green corner during the pinning combination. Keep in mind, these teams really have to think long and hard before they issue a challenge brick. You don't get many. You have three or fewer wrestlers competing this week. You get one brick for all three days. Four to seven wrestlers, you get two challenges. And then if you have a seven to 10 wrestler allotment, you will get three challenges. As we take another look at it, and keep an eye on Ragason here in his defense as he grabbing onto the knee brace, that right knee. Yeah, he's definitely grabbing it. It is an independent review panel. They are located in this facility, but they are not on the arena floor. They are in their own separate room. The independent panel consists of four individuals, three Hall of Fame officials, and there is one current college coach as well, and they will rotate. It's a three-person review, if you will, and they will rotate throughout the course of the day with all reviews that head their way. So that's the setup. Six moments for Air Force where they pick up the fall. Meanwhile, Cannon of Northwestern, he is going to go down. Bakersfield, a 6-4 victory from Chance Rich. Late point won't be enough. And the upsets just keep on and coming at 133. Chance Rich, Redshirt Junior, at large selection. 
able to get the win. Let's go back to the discussion with Ragason and Pippen. Well, what's changed? <laughs> well, this is getting more interesting by the moment. Okay, the officials from the first brick thrown by Air Force said the fall stands, and then Michigan proceeded to throw their red brick onto the mat, and now Michigan is looking at the tail end of this match. So two challenges with Michigan and Air Force. The first one coming for Air Force, the second one for Michigan quit. Yeah, so Michigan's up looking at the knee pad, and I want to bring in Tim Shields, who's the uh, director of officials here. Tim, if, if there is a violation during a pinning, uh, pinning maneuver, can the match, can the pin be, be wiped out? And, and, and can the match be stopped prior to that pin? If during the during the ensuing wrestling, if there is a violation prior to the pin being called, and it is determined that that was the case, yes, the pin can be negated. But a pin technically can't be challenged. So they're challenging that there was a technical violation that occurred before the pin was called. Unfortunately, that would the, the wrestler's getting pinned that he does an illegal maneuver to, to, to his opponent's knee brace. That would then salvage and save him from being pinned. That doesn't seem to make sense or seem to be fair. No. And again, this is a really unique situation. I'm just trying to see how this plays out because we haven't dealt with this no. one before. I mean, right, so you can't. The review, there was indeed a technical violation. is going to be given the victory. And Tim, relay to the fans what the official just said to us. The official just said that before there was a violation, the fall had occurred, therefore the fall stands, and the match has ended. And I think that was the right decision to make. Yes, it does seem fair, doesn't it? It does, absolutely. Sean? Thank you, gentlemen. The fall before the violation, as we take another look at it, well, the fall was not before the violation, but I but I love the call, and because uh, it should not overcome a pin, but by rule, uh, it certainly was before the pin. A moment ago, Leoko a pin, Connor Brown of Missouri. Watch out, the cradle hooked up. Talked about the balance there, Kalioko able to jump through, keep his feet spread, chest to chest. Driving on his toes. Hit in the first period, I love it. Michael Kolioko. Could this be a special year for Penn? Number of wrestlers competing, the junior from Sparta. Three-time NCAA qualifier. Told us he didn't watch the selection show. It's more geared toward the fans. He checked the brackets out later in the night. He was dialed 